It is the first time in nine years that international tennis has been played on the courts here. And Uganda's Duncan Mugabe is making the most of the experience. While he represents the hopes of a nation, taking part in this International Tennis Federation tournament has been a long time coming. They've done a good work to get ITF back, you know, getting the features back, getting Davis Cup back. But now, right now, it's important that we focus on our players, you know. It's important that we get our players out there with exposure, we get them to compete, in, you know, because the potential is there and it's evident. Because of debts owed to the International Federation, Uganda has not been able to host any ITF competitions since 2009. Until the Tennis Association here cleared over $20,000 in debt to the International Tennis Federation, there was barely any international tennis to talk about. Many of the players had been limited to local tournaments. Readmission to the ITF last year was the boost that local tennis needed, and it came with big rewards, a return to the Davis Cup, as well as hosting four pro circuit feature tournaments. I think the ITF had a great idea in terms of because first they are not really expensive to enter, second they take too many players which, which it's like the qualifying, that's like a 32 draw and then you have the main draw. So in all you get like 64 players playing one tournament. So if you can get your six wild cards in the qualifying, four wild cards in the main draw, you got 10 players from Uganda playing this tournament. So I think, I think it's great. Yeah. With the more traveled players bringing something different here, there is more for the home best players to learn. And the local federation is hoping it can use the competition to draw the tennis lines all over again. One of our strategies is to get 50,000 children playing tennis by 2024, but not just playing tennis, playing tennis properly. And in order to do that, we need to uh, focus a lot on the coaches um, and, and get them up to speed, uh, get other people to get involved in officiating and create that ecosystem of tennis. The tennis courts here could now become more active than before. While it may not be the chance for Uganda stars to shine just yet, the country is planning some big hits for the future. Leon Sanyanga Sijitien, Kampala, Uganda.